Did you hear about the king's diagnosis? What? He has cicada fever. Oh, you know what that means. We're gonna need a cicada pageant. Can you handle that? Oh, yeah. I technically have never seen a cicada before, but someone did describe it to me once. I know there's a body for sure. Six legs, red eyes. There's gotta be wings. It'll be fine. I'm gonna try not to buy anything new. So these are our fabrics we'll be working with. And we have this cape that my roommate gave me once. This will be the fabric for the wings. It's actually a lining from a set of curtains that are no longer in use. I think the movement's gonna be beautiful. I've cartridge pleated them in sections so that they're really gathered up at the top and there'll be lots of movement at the bottom. That's the plan anyways. This is our section of the more gray fabric. It's our real money maker. I hope it works. We've sewn them to the cape now and this is where the doubt sets in. It didn't help that this cat was staring at me. Immediately we are not getting the grace that we had hoped for. There's so much of the black cape peeking through and that's really a problem. Who saw this coming? Not me. It is really nice when my undersleeves peek through though. Did you see that? That's great. Okay, let's focus. This will never do. Plan B is we attach the cartridge pleats to a band as you can see here. Okay, here it is on my back. So much better. Just look at that movement. Scream cicada. Now we'll focus on the cicada body. We have this shirt from when I was a third alternate puppeteer. I never went on. I ran some thread through it to give it a little bit more of a fit. We also have this black hood. I just love the way it frames my face. What can I say? Then we cut out this neck piece to cover our cape straps. It did smell a little, but let's not think about it. God gave me four limbs and the cicada six. So we made these gloves to adapt our hands. And then we made these two additional limbs to oh, sew onto the shirt. And this is when I started to question my entire life. And then we have these leggings. You wear them under your armor. They unfortunately had this logo, which I hated. So I thought I'll just cover it up, no problemo. And then that didn't work at all. Moving on. Next, we got to focus on the eyes, which I was excited to have a pop of color and a little sculptural moment. And we attach the two extra arms to the shirts. They're looking great. I do wonder if the king doesn't like this, if I'll be imprisoned and for how long. Now we add all the elements together. I was a little nervous, but I think it looks great. I added these sticks to the end of the wings, which was really helpful. It was based off of Loe Fuller's costumes. Love her. Thank you, Loe. Yeah, just look at this movement. I mean, if this costume gets me killed, at least I'll look good. You say cicada, I say cicada. Now we've made it to my favorite step, tassel time. We added them to the eyeballs and all six legs. It's looking good, but it's still missing something. Remember that black cape from the very beginning? Well, I decided to add it back on as a separate layer. Oh, and we got better socks. I think it's good because it helps give me a more cicada silhouette. And then I think we're there. We're gonna add a few more tassels, of course, mainly for my mental health. And then we'll get on the float and it's showtime. And there you have it. We are a cicada. Ooh, ooh, my goodness. And it does feel good. And you know what? It looks good too. God, I hope this looks like a cicada. Is the king liking it? Is he smiling? Hmm? Anybody? Help? Gosh, I love cicadas. Job well done, everybody. I just hope I get paid this time.